Forget borders are, even though that was everywhere, including on CNN. Now it's just root causes. That's all you had to look at. You had to address the root causes of migration. How'd that go? Watch this. Why did the Biden-Harris administration wait three and a half years to implement sweeping asylum restrictions? Well, first of all, uh, the root causes work that I did as vice president that I was asked to do by the president has actually resulted in a number of benefits, including historic investments by American businesses in that region. Um, the number of uh, immigrants coming from that region has actually reduced um, since we began that work. But I will say this, that Joe Biden and I and our administration worked with members of the United States Congress on an immigration uh, issue that is very significant to the American people and to our security, which is the border. Okay. So they care deeply about the border. And really, she was only in charge of root causes. And why they waited three and a half years to implement some reforms to asylum went unanswered. It went unanswered. And then when finally Dana Bash was offered the opportunity to ask a follow-up, she did not say, why did you wait? I'm asking you why you waited to do anything about the border until right before he was running for re-election. She did not. What she followed up with was, oh, okay, so you would push the legislation that did not actually get passed again. You'd push it again. We already knew the answer to that. She already said that. She said that at the convention that she wants to sign the bill that got killed, the bill that Republicans killed in part because it would have given the president, Joe Biden, the ability to completely erase the bill, wipe out the bill, pretend the bill had never been passed with a stroke of his pen. It gave him the authority of a king to stop all the reforms. One of the many reasons why the Republicans were like, this is not a good bill. We're not signing this. We're not going to push this. But they say it's all because of Trump. Okay, so the, that would have been the opportunity at the, long, at the end of that long answer to say, the question was, why did you wait three and a half years to do anything about the border? But she didn't. She went to the empty. So would you push that legislation again? Something we already knew the answer to. A waste of a question, a failed follow-up opportunity, and something we really needed to know because under this administration, there have been, been at least 10.4 million illegals who have come into the country. That, those are the official numbers. That's not counting the gotaways and all that. 10.4 million under Biden-Harris. Guess how many it was under Donald Trump? 2.34 million. 2.34 versus 10.4. Why didn't I hear those numbers mentioned last night? Why wasn't that the follow-up? Why did the border czar or person responsible for root causes of migration not get those numbers put in her face and have to answer questions about how we got there and specifically whether she's going to deport those illegals? What's going to happen to them? Are they going to be deported? What are you going to do to stop the illegal crossings when you take office? Specifically, do you support what Joe Biden did on his day one, on his day one, we pulled it just the, the, the gaslighting on immigration was at peak levels last night. She actually tried to swagger in there and pretend like she's been the Stephen Miller of the Joe Biden administration, who's been like with her thumbs in the belt loose going, yeah, let me tell you, partner, we're going to shore up this border because we don't want. No, that's not what she's done. It's not what Joe Biden's done. It's not what anyone in this administration has done. Here's what Joe Biden did. And the reason we went from 10, from two under Trump to 10 under Joe Biden. In the first 15 days in office, many of these were on the very first day, more than a dozen Biden administration executive orders were issued relating to the Trump's, to Trump's immigration policy. Number one, he moved to suspend the Remain in Mexico program, which was very effective and said, if you want asylum here, we'll evaluate your claims. You have to stay in Mexico while we do. So if you get denied, you're Mexico's problem, not ours. They got rid of it. They didn't like it and they pushed to kill it. They halted construction of the border wall, stopped constructing construction of the border wall and sold off the pieces so that it couldn't even be resumed with any sort of ease if a Trump administration were to come after them. Um, they eventually lifted the Title II restrictions, 
right? That turned back unaccompanied minors and others who arrived without a parent or guardian. And then as soon as he revoked that policy, their numbers spiked at the border. In February of 2021, that's a month after Harris Walls took office, Harris, sorry, Biden, Harris, they initiated a review of the Trump policies, quote, that have effectively closed the U.S. border to asylum seekers. It was one of their top priorities. Get the asylum seekers back. Invite the people back. We don't like what Trump did. They began a review of the fast track deportation procedure that Trump had implemented, known as expedited removal, which allows immigration authorities to remove an individual without a hearing before an immigration judge. They didn't like that at all. That was all Biden Harris. They did, however, in February 2021, issue a memo to ensure that LGBTQ plus refugees and asylum seekers had equal access to all protections. Let's make sure that the gay refugees and asylum seekers have plenty of rights. Um, They issued a memo in March of 2021, reversing the Trump policy that banned refugees from key regions and enabled flights from those regions to begin within days. Okay, so they enabled flights from these regions from which Trump had banned refugees to begin within days. They declared that the 15,000 annual refugee refugee cap set by Trump would be raised. And it was raised in 2022 to 125,000. They got exactly what they wanted when they reversed all those Trump policies. For her to stand up there now and try to act like she was this tough border czar who, as a former prosecutor, understood the dangers of illegal immigration was absolutely ballsy in its dishonesty. There's more. Um, that that story about, I was a DA, you know, I was attorney general. I cracked down on illegals in California who had broken the law. Yes, if they had broken the law while in your state, you prosecuted them. And you started paying attention to, uh, in particular, the gangs that were coming over, uh, these transna- transnational organized gangs who are committing crime in California. That's a different issue, madam. That does not relate to how you would stop them from crossing the border to begin with. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.